my dear young brothers and sisters, we are pleased to have you here this evening. On behalf of the old airport Jiddha Dhawa Center, Tamil Division, uh, I am pleased to welcome you this evening for the lecture on social media on revolutionary life. We are privileged to have Dr. Ehia this evening. Uh, Dr. Ehia is the former dean of the teachers, uh, teachers College and he is the chairman of the Jiddha Dhawa Center. Dr. Ehia is a well-known guy who has sacrificed most of his valuable time uh, on Dhawa related activities. This program is exclusively organized towards you, the younger generation, in order to enlighten, enlighten you with the do's and don'ts of social media. And we hope, and we hope this program will be benefit on you to change your lifestyle in a positive way. With that, I would request you to pay full attention, keep your mobile phones on silent mode, take down your notes wherever required, and please join me in welcoming Dr. Hia on stage. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barak ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. My dear brothers and my sons and daughters in this place, I welcome you by the greeting of Islam and I say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You are our youth and you are our future. So the future is you. You know what does it mean this for us? It's for your parents, for your family and for the whole Muslim ummah. Because we are expecting you to be leaders, to be scientists, to be specialists, that they can benefit themselves and also benefit their families and benefit the whole Ummah of Islam. So it's very important for the Muslim, my dear children, to think about his life. We know that you are still young and we went through this before. Your parents went through this before. But you are now at the time for preparation. Preparation for your future. To build yourself. Now you are living in a new era. Which is different from many things that we encounter when we were at your age. I'm sure that your parents, they told you at their time there was no internet. Right? Okay, it was very hard to have, you know, to contact or communicate. But nowadays we have all this advanced technology which made our life is more easier. But, but as you know, with every good thing, there are what they call it side effects. Same like medicine. We take medicines, right? To, for, for what? To cure from illness, sickness. But always they remind us there are, could be some side affections. Same thing for when we talk about the social media. Now let's talk first of all about the title. Social, media, and then we have revolutionary life. Let's start from the end. This life, why we call it revolution? It's because every day we have something new. Very fast change in the world going on these days. So, maybe in a few years, you will look at what we have these days and you will see this is history because you'll have something in you. But let's start with, now go back 
to the first word, social. What does it mean? When you talk about social and socialization, we mean what? When people socialize together. And this is one of the aspects or one of the characteristics of us as a human being. We cannot live alone. Everyone, for sure, would like to connect with others, not to be left alone. As you see here, these different colors to show you that people are, in fact, they are from different background, different faith, different characters, different cultural, linguistic background. You see, they are different. But even with these differences, we can have some type of what? Some type of connections. And therefore, it is natural for us as a human being, as people, to have communication with others, to have interaction with others. But also we remember that, especially as we Muslim, that we live in this world and we believe as a Muslim that we have codes, codes and guidelines, you know, in our deen, which was revealed from our Creator in the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, and therefore we should check and look at everything in our life in the light of the teaching of Islam. In this way, we'll have success in this world and in the hereafter. Meaning, as we said, mixing socially with others. This is the conclusion that we reach. People get together maybe to achieve one objective, one goal or more. Because sometimes, as you know, we may not be able to achieve what we want just by our own. We need to participate, to cooperate, to work with others, Jazakallah khair. To work with others to achieve our noble goals. Make someone behave in a way that is acceptable to their society. This is what we call it taqbir or socialization. Every one of us, my dear children, every one of us would like to be accepted, to be respected by others. For sure. This is why when we go out, what we do, we try to huh, wear very nice clothes, take care of our hair, huh, take care of our appearance. So when we come there, people look at, at us and say, wow, wow, mashallah, he's a nice kid, mashallah, he looks great, mashallah. That's natural. Go with nice smell nice clothes to you know communicate with people right so the meaning here when you find yourself that you were accepted people appreciate you as a person as you not for any other reason not because you are the son of so and so not because you are from this land or from that land or this background no just because you are as you are. That's it. So, every one of us for sure love to be accepted. The opposite of socialization is what? Isolation. No one loves to be isolated. Look to this, you know, poor person. He was far away from the group. Everybody happy. They are joining together, but this Miskin, <laughs> you know, he's grieving there because he's alone. He was not joined, you know, by the others and people around. They made circle. They didn't allow them to be with them. Do any one of you would like to be that person? Huh? Answer. No, for sure. You see, so everyone would like to be part of the of the group. The most, this is why my dear children, you know, one of the punishment to punish some people, and this is what they do with the criminals, is to imprison them. They isolate them in prison. 
Why a prison considered as punishment? Because this is something which is against the will of man and one of the source of his, you know, uh, troubles, sadness, and problems. Because he doesn't like to be alone, will be with others. So when we punish somebody, what we do? Huh? We put them where? In the prison. This is what they do with the criminals. So people outside, they are going around, they are walking, they are free. But this guy, this guy, he is isolated. He was isolated. And this is what we said, that isolation, that means leads to loneliness, to being lonely. Now this is the question again. Do any one of you would like to be lonely? No? Okay. We'll see at the end of this presentation. Because I will ask this question at the end, inshallah. And then you will test yourself and you will check yourself if you are lonely or not. Because some people, unfortunately, they think they are not lonely. But in fact, they are. So this is the test that we'll do at the end, inshallah. طيب. How, uh, I said, you know, uh, the first step for our socialization starts with, from whom? Huh? From whom? Who is there? The mother, right? Your mother. This is the first step. You see, this is the, the first rule. Because the mother takes care of us, of every one of us. You know, when a baby, feeding, taking care of your food, sleeping, health, cleaning, all this stuff. At the same time, she raised you to respect the values and the traditions of the society. Now, I think you all from Sri Lanka or some from India, other different places, but let me ask this general question. Okay? Now, when you grow up at home, your mother talk to you with Russian or with Arabic? Huh? Answer. What the language that your mother talk to you? It's your language, right? It's the language of the community, right? Why? Because when you grow up, then you will be, you know, familiar with the languages, people around you. Otherwise, when you grow up and you will learn different language, you will be like a thief. People talk and you just look at them and you don't know what they are saying. So this, the rule of the mother from the beginning, to teach you, train you to get the language, the tradition, but the most important thing is what? Huh? The belief, the faith. And this is what the father also shared. You see this nice family? Father, mother, children, all, mashallah, very nice family. They are having hijab. Huh? They are very close. They are very nice. Why? Because you are taking care. See, look at their smile, mashallah. They are happy. Why? Because they are integrated family. They are very together. They are taking care of their values. And this is the most important thing. When we see, my dear children, when we see, you know, when you see your father or your mother teach you or train you to follow certain rules as a Muslim, don't object. Don't say, why should I do this? You know, why I be, should be in this way? Today you don't know what the concept, what the meaning behind this. But when you grow up, you will be very thankful for your parents. Why? Because they taught you the value, the values of your religion, which will guide you to happiness and success in this world and in the year after. Now, when we talk about uh, social media, what are, or what is the social media? You see, I'm sure that you know many. Like what? Who can tell me one? Face? Huh? Face? Facebook. MashaAllah, great. What else? What's up? Okay. Twitter? Huh? Many, right? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. You know more than what I know. <laughs> you see, you know more than I know. That's great. These medias, it's media, it's tools. 
And when we talk about tools, that means any tool that we have, always there are two sides. Two sides. Bright side and dark side. And tonight we'll try to see both sides for this social media. So then you will be able to deal with it with an open eyes, with very smart attitude, intelligent attitude. Therefore, you know how to use it and avoid the negative effect of such. First of all, one of the bright thing about social media, the family ties. That means if you are far away from your mom or dad or any of your brothers or sisters, you know, you always keep in touch with them, right? By, you know, WhatsApp messages, by Skype, huh? uh, by any or different way of communication, you can talk to them, you can make video calls, you always, so this, in fact, for sure, one of the obligation of the Muslim, because Muslim, as you know, mashallah, that he should take good care of his family, of his family. The best company for you is your mother, right? Then, huh? Mother again, right? Then, mother again. Then, father. How many times the mother? Who said this? Masha Allah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. You see, ummuk azum, ummuk azum, ummuk. Nowadays, you find some young people, he come to his mother and he said, Mother, I came to visit you. You know, especially when he grow up, he's outside. When he sit with his mother, his mother preparing for him some drink and she want to talk to him. And this guy, what he's doing, he's holding his mother. Yes, mom. Yeah, yeah, yes, mom. Yeah, yeah, I got you. This is what's happened sometime. So, he thinks that he's connected with his mother, with his father, with the people around him, but in fact, his body is here, and his mind is there, with somebody else. So here, we talk about connection. So are we doing or strengthening our family ties? So, the best thing that me, which the Muslim should care is, first of all, and this, my dear children, very, very important. When you are at the presence of your father or mother as respect, turn off your mobile. Turn off your device. Okay? Listen to them carefully. Talk to them. Because, you know, they spend a lot of their time when you were baby, when you are child, young, to raise you and where they were waiting for the day when you can speak and you can talk to them. Especially when they get old. And now when you grow up, you forget about them. This is not the character of the Muslim. And I'm sure none of you, you know, do this. But here we just remind them because some people, they may uh, forget this. Also, family ties is not relate only to uh, to your father or mother or your small family, but the whole big family. And this is what we call it kinship. Kinship ties, you know, like your, your uncle, your aunt, your cousins, all your relatives. You have to keep in touch with them. This is one of the bright sides of this, uh, uh, you know, social media. Also, uh, one thing that we can learn or can we benefit or we can say one of the strong point or positive side of social media that it is a channel for learning. You can learn, you can send questions huh, through WhatsApp to your teacher or if you want to know from one sheikh the ruling about something like fatwa or you want to know something about certain things that you want to do if you have a project then this is also good way. I like what I did today, you know. How did I prepare this presentation? If we don't have this media, I will not be able to do this or present it to you. I remember before, 
long time ago, more than 30 or 25 years ago, when I prepare khutbah for Friday, maybe I spend five days and having all these books in front of me, taking from all of it. Nowadays, I can do it in one night. Why? Because you go to different websites, you can take whatever, you know, evidence, proofs, from Quran, or the Sunnah, or anything that you need, you find it. Same also for you. When teacher nowadays, they ask you, for example, to do any homework or project, you would say, okay, master, it will be easy. You just serve in the internet, or contact some people, or some expert, and then you get feedback, and you can prepare project very, very quickly. Naam? Also discovering. You know, nowadays, mashallah, one of you at your age maybe knows, huh? maybe knows more than what adult knows. Why? Because young people, they like to discover, search. But as we said, searching, it has two sides. Search for the good and stay away from the, the bad. It's very important. As you are driving, you are the one who is using this social media. It's like the driver. We should be very careful. When you drive your car, open your eyes, right or not? Can you drive while you are closing your eyes? No, for sure, okay. Open your... It's also, somebody will maybe give you a horn or something. Look to the signs in front of you. Huh? Speed limit. Same thing when you are using this thing. Why? Because there are many dangerous, many ways to get lost if you don't have real plan for discovery. So you, for, for, first of all, you should define your objective. What do you want? And then try to search for it but also you should put criteria. For example, if you are looking for something which is related to your religion as a Muslim, not just go and, you know, ask Mr. Google, huh, and Google it, no. First of all, you will check about the websites that you trust. Otherwise, maybe Mr. Google will give you information from website which is not authentic. And there are many websites in, in, in the internet which in fact uh, take the name of Islam or the Quran, like the Quran.com. There is some of this website which was made up by the enemies of Islam. So a Muslim when he comes to the Quran, they say, MashaAllah, this is a good website. But in fact they are mixing the truth with the lies to misguide people. So when you want to discover, it's okay. And you'll discover many, many guys, many good things. But be careful. Be careful that you define your obje object, objective and then you go for it and also you follow the rules of searching in the right places. Every one of you, I'm sure that he is creative. What does it mean creativity? You know? Because we are creative because we take ideas from different people, right or not? So you are using the minds of many people. One idea from here, one idea from there, one idea from this, one from that. And then you come with a new idea, so this will make you creative. This is why at, school, at your school, for sure, when your, your uh, teachers, for example, they ask you for, uh, to do any presentation, or project, you work hard to look and search and then try to get ideas from everybody and then you put your own taste and you put it in your own way. And then when they see your teacher see it, they say, oh, wow, you are creative. This is very nice. This is new. No one did this before. So it's helped us to be creative. Now look to the dark side. You see in the right side the light, and the left side is the darkness. You see? This is the simple here. Suspicions and confusion. Wow. How can be 
uh, this social media be uh, sus you know sent suspicious or confusion in different way but one my you know one thing that you should be aware of especially when it's come to your religion when it's come to your religion I mean to your Islam I'll give an example okay <clears throat> you are uh, everybody looking for the biscuits so we'll wait till they get theirs because as they said you know in uh, Islam if their prayer come and you are hungry what do you do huh if the food there and time for prayers which one you start with huh yeah. no with food <laughs> why because if you pray while you are you know hungry or the food in front of you that means you say Allahu Akbar and your eyes go there see maybe they will not leave anything for me you see so here why we said I'll give you a break for uh, to take your biscuits okay okay um, I'll give you a story while you are eating one day and this is a true story one day one young man one young man he called me and he said I have good news because he knows that I am you know working in da'wah I asked him what he said there are or there is one person who want to be a Muslim and he's mashallah he's expert you know he's American and he's a professor or something like this and he's eager to be Muslim so I said okay how did you know him said I long him for you know know him for some times he requested huh, to be my friend on the Facebook this is what you got sometime sometimes you got requests on the Facebook from people that you don't know right or not right so what he did he added him and later on this man what he did he always he said you are a Muslim and I like Islam but I have some questions I have some doubt so he started to throw many doubts in the mind of this boy and he asked him why is this why is that and those and those you know uh, suspicious or this doubt when they throw it it's like the seeds the satanic seeds so it's grow in the mind and made this person to start to think and try to find answers for something which is beyond his ability or imagination he will understand it when he grow up but as a child he cannot comprehend them so in this case there are some Muslim youth they lost their faith because of what because of these many suspicious many confusions it's come as questions huh? as statements uh, as quotations and then they confuse them so this is the dark side here when you contact or communicate with somebody that you didn't know you don't know what is his purposes you don't know what's his plan his plan is to misguide you other example every one of us for sure when he gets uh, you know in his whatsapp received hadith and sometimes at the end of the hadith said to you go ahead and forward this so we got a lot of reward and everyone would like to have reward so what he do he just psh, and he push the forward to all people in his list later on he discovered what that this hadith was 
my publications. Do anyone, do anyone of you? Okay. Let me ask you this. Do any of you, anyone of you would like to say a lie about the Prophet? Huh? Would like to say a lie about the Prophet? For sure, no. Right? Okay. And you know what the Prophet said about the one who lies in him? That he will be where? In the hell, right? So for sure, none of us will or would like to have any lies. But we, in fact, participate in such lies when we forward certain hadith which was fabricated. This is why. Be careful. Ask yourself where this hadith come from. Okay, it's come from your brother. And you know that he's a religious, righteous person. But first of all, also check. Because he received it also from somebody that he trusts. And through this circle, it's come from somebody who has no knowledge, ignorant. And he followed it as a hadith of Prophet ﷺ. Nowadays, there are many, be careful, many fabricated hadith in the internet. And it's come, you'll find it in Facebook, you'll find it in WhatsApp, you'll find it sometimes with all these medias. So be careful before you deal with any of these things. Otherwise, you will be, you know, sharing these people by uh, spreading this lies and confusion about Islam and Muslim. Lies and fabrication, we already talk about it. Uh, what is this? Who can tell me? What, what can you tell about this story? Picture. Huh? One huh? One You see? Uh, what else? Think about this picture. What does it tell you? Huh? Let me hear somebody. Yalla. Huh? <laughs> this is what we call it manipulating. Right? Who is the man behind this? Can you see his face? This is what you have when you deal with somebody that you don't know through social media. Sometimes they manipulate you in a way and you think that you are in control. But you are, you know, they are playing on you. This is why it's very important to be careful when you deal with strangers. Especially if you are dealing with somebody behind. And people, you know, they, 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 they get, unfortunately, you know, uh, misguided. Now, some, uh, you know, voices will be changed. Somebody talk to you and think this is a lady or a man. But in fact, he is not. You see? Uh, because he changed his voice to other six. And then you go with him. Somebody tell you that he is, mashallah, very an intelligent, expert person, while in fact he is not. So not anybody who tell you anything about himself and the social, through the social media, in fact, he's telling you the truth. But what they do, they will ask you many questions. Oh, how old are you? Oh, nice. MashaAllah. Okay. And then, where do you live? What grade? And they get all this information from you. And then you don't know what they are. They will use with this information. See, be, be careful not to be manipulated by others. Be in control. This is what sometimes they call it blackmailing. Blackmailing, you know? You got to have friendship with somebody else. Send him, mashallah, your, this, especially for, for, for girls. They send their sometimes pictures or uh, they tell about their stories for somebody. They think that he's faithful. Huh? He's a friend. And then after he collect all this personal information, what he do? He blackmailing the other person. And this happened even here, even sometimes uh, in the police, in ball, because there are some girls who get blackmailed because of this. So be smart kid. Don't let anyone to manipulate you 
or to blackmail you because you deal with them without knowing about their background. Same thing. This guy is not, you know, looking for money here. He's looking about for your information. Right? So, it's okay. Yes? Who can tell me? Is this a doctor? No. He, ah, you see? Look, he look behind, look at you, and try to, huh? Decode what? He's not looking for your money. For your personal life. Some people, what they do, they tell others about their personal life without question. Nobody will ask them. If he went to any restaurant and he had a nice dish, before they touch it, what they do? Selfie. And then they put it in their Instagram or any of these media. Right or not? So people outside, they know every bit about your life. This is what they do here. So the wise, do you need to hold it all the time? <laughs> huh? That will be, that will be difficult for you. Huh? Yeah, I don't like to... Uh, okay. Tayyip. Wow, look at this. <laughs> what do you think about this? Who can give me comment? Uh -huh. Who is tying you here? Huh? The phone, no, the device, right? No. This is why some people, when they are walking, they are, when they eating, they look at it. When they talking, when they drinking, and some of them even when they are driving, they send text message. And this, you know, the reason behind many of these, of these what? Of these troubles. Why? This what we call it what? Addiction. Addiction. Some people are addicted. You know, like some people, they always, they want to do certain thing. So here, now he become in, you know, in a state of he is controlling the device. He was controlled by the device. So every, many people now, like for example, now this is what you need to check yourself. Check yourself. If you find yourself, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing that you turn on your, ah, I can't tell from your faces. Many you do that, right? And then he check how many messages he received at night that means you are addicted. If you, before you go to bed, huh, you forgot to say a car, but you remember how to check everything in the device, that means you are addicted. If your mother called you many times and said, yes, I'm coming, ma'am, I'm coming, I'm coming, and you are working, that means you are addicted. So, the wise person will not let device control him you see so wherever he go there will guide him in the car at work and if they allowed you in the classroom you know the teacher is talking and explaining and this where under the table uh -huh. and every minute he is still glimpsed to see and then he show the teacher you know smiling face so the teacher said mashallah this guy is with me but in fact he was not he's with his device so don't this one of the black 
dark side of this material. طيب. Look about this. What they said. Researchers here it said have proposed a new phenomenon called Facebook depression. Facebook depression. Some people they are depressed. Why? Because of this. It said defined as depression that developed when preteens pre like in your age and teens spend great deal of symptoms of depression. Why? Because of this addiction as we mentioned. So we say to everyone what? Huh? I didn't hear. Stop wasting time. That's mean if I just sit and look at this, this is very, very important. We, you know, your parents, your family, your teachers, they don't say, don't use this device. In fact, your father, your mother, they put it for you. It's use it, but in the right way. So when a person becomes addicted, he feels lonely, disconnected, now he is not in fact in state these social medias in a state of connecting you with people the truth is huh, it's disconnecting you from the people from people even around you your family why because you are living with this device you are living in other world so this is why you should stop wasting time time is life Time is more important than gold. Money. Why? Because gold and money, you can work and get it back. But every hour, every day, that pass of your life will never be able to, to get it back. So this is why it's very important. Here I just to summarize a study that was done by Al Jazeera. You know Al Jazeera? Yes. Yeah, Al Jazeera channels. But this is in Arabic, so I'll go over it very quickly. In, in uh, translation, this study would show the, uh, the positive side and the negative side. You know, it said, I'm not going to talk about the positive side. It said, the first one, if any of you, you can read Arabic, you understand what this. The first one is separating of wrong ideas, like the idea of terrorism, you know. Now, some people, they're talking in the name of Islam, but in fact, they are far away from Islam. They are destroying the image of Islam and Muslim because of their action, because of the way they are telling. Also, there is something which is not good to be seen, which is, you know, it's, uh, it's for adult content that should not be seen by young people, but it is available there. This is why the Muslim First of all, should remember that even you are alone, you are not alone. Right or not? Yes. Even you are alone, even if you are alone, you get in your room, you close, you, huh? and you think that mom, dad, they are there, and I'm free in my room, I do whatever I want. Remember that you are not alone. Who is with you? Allah. Allah. It's very important. Remember that whatever you do, whatever you see, whatever you go, you know, and when somebody come, you just, just close your, <laughs> your laptop or your device because your dad come or your mom or your brother, remember that Allah is watching you. So the Muslim should be aware of this. Also, as we said, uh, there's no privacy. It's no privacy here. When you involve in open communication with people that you know and you don't know that mean you disclose your privacy and this the wise person should not be there also there's problems that happen sometimes in the family because of this internet between husband and wife between the father and his children the mother and her daughter this is why because of this uh, troubles also it said that um, it's make uh, a lot of troubles in the community and divided the people and sometimes hatred and even in the same community why these days 
we can see many wars everywhere uh, many unrest why uprising why because of what's going on there when some people they try to push certain groups against other groups and this start a conflict in very quiet safe community as before like you seen in your, in, in your country many countries before people they live together in peace with different religion right or not Muslim Buddhist Christians nowadays what you see every group they are fighting the others because of what for many years they were living in peace because there are some people satanic you know minds they use this media just to divide and and cause troubles and unrest in many communities these are very i hope that i didn't i wasn't you know boring you uh, and i hope that you learn something tonight the important thing uh, my dear one please that what you learn you need to practice for sure it's not easy i don't expect you today to go and turn off your mobile but take it step by step okay and first of all when you wake up in the morning or at the beginning of the week put for yourself a list of objectives and put time certain times when you check uh, your message your email make a certain time in the day so in this way you will not be lost and every time you just check it may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all and teach us whatever benefit us and wa akhru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect you all uh, from all evils and keep you safe and be be inshallah our uh, bright future inshallah wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala sayyidina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in jazakum allah khair thank you very much